Hi, and thanks for tuning in to our live radio show. Moments of Clarity with Tiffany will begin in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Kindly take this opportunity to share this show on your platforms because change can only come when we stand together as one, especially when it comes to ending the stigma on mental health. You are not alone, and help is out there. Kids have mental health issues, and we also need to learn coping skills. Let's get started and let the show begin. See you soon. Don't put yourself down, time for a change. Believe in yourself, time to rearrange. Be your best friend, bring hope to your day. Lose your critic, get out of your way. Now it clicks, moments of clarity. Now I hear, moments of clarity. Moments of clarity To yourself be kind It will please your mind Find your joy Trust in you Put in the time You'll see how you grow Many kinds of love You get to define Find self-love You're so alive Clicks, moments of clarity. Now I hear moments of clarity. Now I get it. Moments of of clarity with tiffany werner licensed mental health counselor in the state of florida moments of clarity's mission is to educate and end the stigma on mental health through the inspirational stories of our exceptional guests you can join in the show by calling Tiffany toll-free at 866-826-1340 or on Facebook and Twitter at MOC with Tiffany. Now, here's Tiffany Werner. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Moments of Clarity with me. My name is Tiffany Werner. I'm a licensed mental health counselor, and I'm your host. And today we are actually doing a celebration anniversary show with some of my great friends throughout the way that have made a difference in my life and yours, I'm sure. And um, eight years of being with First Chant Talk Radio, I have to thank them for giving me the chance a long time ago. I mean, listening to the first show eight years ago, I sound so young. <laughs> I mean, I must have been like 16 or something, but... <laughs> Anyway, um, 
I want to say thanks to everyone for being here. First, I want to say hi to Ed. Ed, hi. Thanks for being here. And a happy Friday to everybody. Happy Friday. Eight years. Eight years with Ed and um, Fan Talk Radio. And it was only 13.40 a.m. back then. And look how much we've expanded. Yeah. And uh, Ed's going to be on my show next week, too. So tune in to then. And it's your birthday. It is. And that might be a conflict. That might be a conflict. I'll, I'll have to talk to you after the show. <laughs> anyway, okay, so maybe not. Anyway, so we've got some friends that you know, Ed, and uh-huh. um, and everyone's welcome to call in if you want to say something about the show, about how you've been on the show, or um, how mental health has grown. Ed, anything that you've learned from having to listen to my show for eight years? Anything like that along the way? Feel free to chime in. Not to put you on the spot right now. You you can think it over if mm-hmm. you want. And um, so let me introduce my guests. All right, so here we go. Hi, Leslie, darling. Hello. And, uh, eight, eight years. <laughs> eight years, yeah. Yes. Yes, mental health has come a long way in eight years, has it not? Absolutely. And learning that it's not only the mind, but also what we eat. Sure. How we um we were warned that Joe was gonna have a, a cable guy come into his house. <laughs> and there he is. Anyway. Um how it's also with your gut and how you eat, and that's what you specialize in as well. Yes. Absolutely. It's all the brain gut connection. And what's so awesome about this panel of amazing people here is we all bring a wealth of knowledge in different avenues of supporting mental health Uh and, um, and all that we've been through over the last couple of years um, with people passing and coping skills. um, And, and, and especially now the, the uh, rippling effect of long-term mental health, Um, we really see an impact on that now. And I see more and more clients and people I speak to out in the public that are just trying to figure out what coping mechanisms they can use to um, get over, you know, mourning people that went through everything we had to go through with COVID. And if I could say anything, the biggest tip is stay in the green zone, stay in the present moment. You can't um, change the past and um, you just try to just keep yourself focused in the present moment and just nurture yourself and try to eat healthy foods. Because when you eat sugars, you go on that brain freeze. And you, a lot of people, when I have a lot of sugar in me, I get depressed. So um, it's really amazing what's out there and the research they're doing. So thanks for having me on, Tiffany. I am honored to have had you here and um, for you to be here. It means a lot to me. Thank you. <clears throat> it's funny, I um I sent out kind of like a blast to several of my friends that I thought would be a good fit for the show. And um thinking only like one or two would say yes and a lot said yes. <laughs> so I had to narrow it down a little bit, but some offer to call in or leave comments. So I'm very blessed. I feel very blessed with that. Um Robert Rigsby. I might try to find our blooper where you're always animated. It's a Robert I've known for a very long time, been judges at some of his pageants. He's an Emmy award winner, three time Emmy award winner, choreographer, very animated. When I go to lunch with him, everyone wants to know us. We get weird <laughs> looks when we walk into a restaurant. By the end of the restaurant, by the end of the meal, I have to take mine to go because I feel weird eating in front of a crowd of people around us, and it is not. <laughs> I can't help, but I'm attractive. Ugh. I know, <laughs> and they they kind of overhear our conversation, and they were like, "I want to listen to that." You're what? Because we're just both loud, and I think. <laughs> well, thank you. Our for- favorite restaurant went out of business, so we. Have to well, it did. It did. It did. It did. But you know, there are still other places that serve food on a regular basis here in Clearwater, so we're good. 
I know. We'll just have to find somewhere else. But you think you want to have anyway. me? I'm super excited. I'm reading the comments. I'm, I'm super excited to be here because again, like, like when we when I first did your show many years ago, it was a different your, your, situation. Your sound's cutting in and out, and it's. I don't know why. Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, it was just cutting in and out, which is why I'm here and not in the studio. Well, if I speak like a robot, maybe you'll hear every other word <laughs> I say. No, you just sound oh, like C-3PO that's cutting out. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's like you're in the, yeah, it's like you're in the matrix. Neil, let him go. <laughs> Morpheus, let him go. <laughs> and now he's frozen. Robert, gonna let I'm gonna let you fix that problem and let's go with LP for a second. <laughs> let me go LP, what's up? What's going on? Robert, make sure that your input output on the settings is accurate. Like, um, maybe leave and come back. And anyway, go on, LP. What's up, Larry Penton, the host of Trigger Warning, and um, good friend of mine. We've done a lot of shows together, and I've been on his whatever too. He's right on top of current events, making sure that our world is a safe place. Yeah, so I'm LP, Larry Penton. I am a retired paramedic and firefighter. I got into EMS at the age of 37. I'll be 52 next Thursday on the 26th. Wow. So I think Ed and I have the same birthday. If not, we're like right behind each other. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. So that's where I was born and raised and worked and practiced. And so I work for a private EMS service. I work for a paid fire protection district and I retired during COVID uh, in March of 2020. And we relocated to Charlotte, which is where Mrs. LP was raised. And uh, we started a company called Pen and Penny Consultant Solutions, LLC. Uh, a year later, we uh, started the podcast. So uh, last year, we started this podcast called Trigger Warning Talk Podcast. You always leave out the last two words, Tiffany. It's Trigger Warning Talk Podcast because there's a couple other Trigger Warning podcasts that are out there. And so we cover some heavy topics, human and sex trafficking, true crime, domestic violence, and sexually based offenses. Uh, under the true crime banner, we do a missing person case at the end of every episode. And these are uncensored conversations, no therapy. We exchange information and we provide resources. I always say that mental health crisis is the world's oldest continuous pandemic that's been around since the beginning of mankind. And it's not going anywhere. And until we take care of the stigmas, taboo, stereotypes, the trauma, the guilt, the shame, the judgment, and the pain, we're gonna still be dealing with these issues. Uh, and, we, and I get breaking news stories every day because of the work that I do as a Stop the Bleed instructor, trainer, as an active shooter consultant, uh, as a podcaster. You know, we travel across the country teaching these Stop the Bleed classes and different things like that for companies, houses of worship, schools, and all those things. And I love your, um, your mission statement, ending the stigma on mental health, because it matters. And mm -hmm. the work that you're doing and the work that Leslie's doing and the work that all of these panelists are doing is helping us get back to our humanity. And so you guys are <laughs> zero well said. So what's your favorite part? Okay, well, I'm going to come back to all of you guys, but your favorite part of being on Moments of Clarity within the mm -hmm. past eight years. But <clears throat> all right. So I mean, for eight for years, like that the is past such eight an years. amazing for, that's such an amazing accomplishment. And I I love your story. You know, you said you were uh, at like a symposium or something like that, talking, and the people from Tan Talk came up to you and said, hey, 
<laughs> I was I was opening my counseling center, and I had joined the Chamber of Commerce, and we were doing a grand opening of my grand opening. my counseling center, and giving yeah, a and like and it was there. Like who knew? Like uh, eight years later, you'd be doing this to a syndicated audience. What is it? Twelve million <laughs> syndication or something like that. Like that's phenomenal. Yeah, you know, and meet people like Leslie, who I interviewed on the podcast. You know, Leslie, I love you. We got to do a part two because of some of the stuff that I'm doing now in Clubhouse. Uh, I'm a co mod in the eating disorder and disorder eating room with Leah M and Aaron Ryland. So you and I got to talk some. But yeah, you know, uh, Tiffany, I just love you to pieces. And we've had so many conversations off air, offline, and different things like that. The work Let's that keep you're those off air, offline. Yeah, we, yeah, we're gonna keep that stuff offline or whatever. Uh, you see, I got my screens all cleared up, you know, and all that stuff. That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> but yeah, I just love your show. Well, yeah, we don't have a we're things up the morning. Sir, okay. All right. You, you don't have what a problem with that at all. Hold on a second. So with with Joe, he kind of introduced him in a second. He warned us about the cable guy. <coughs> One of the shows he was on. Yeah, he's up there. Yeah, he's literally sure. talking about uh, yeah, closure. Yeah, I got it. Have yeah, closure. Yeah. <laughs> and he was in his office, and there was a door, like literally behind him. And one of his kids or family members opened the door, and on the screen down below, it said the definition of closure. And, and he turns on. He's like, "Close the door." Close the door. <laughs> wait, wait. I can't. Nobody can hear you, Joe. Hi, Joe Potosi. Definition of closure: cable guy. <laughs> you know something? That was you couldn't have scripted that any better. That was just like an amazing thing, the way you did that. But anyway, hi everyone. First of all, Tiffany, congratulations, eight years. And um, it's, it's gone. And uh, I applaud everything you've done to make a difference. You've been with and, me one of the longest along the way. And I, I need to say this before I kind of get, I forget this. And I think you've made it really hip, really okay for men to openly talk about mental health issues what ails them that it's okay that you know you have tipped away at the stigma that's with a lot of men that don't want to talk about depression or anxiety or ptsd so on and so forth and um I commend you and thank you for that and i know thank you so much for that Joe, congratulations. If you're an international award winning author, you got the Thank award you. globally. Like, it, it's amazing. You've gotten several awards for your book that we'll, we'll see more about because I support it on the, um, on the show every, every time, but when the dust settled. And, um, and it's your autobiography. And, to see what you've been through and how you've gotten here now. But Joe's one of those people that just kind of like the rest of you, we just kind of met and, and I couldn't get rid of him. <laughs> I, I, it's like I, when I first like started I put a can of tuna fish or cat food out and I picked up a, oh, wow. a wonderful <laughs> loyal friend and thank God, thank God we met. Yeah. Right around the time where through the eight years, it hasn't been all like uh, um, oh. a, it hasn't always been easy. Let's just say yeah. um, it hasn't. It, but, it's been, there's been a lot of negative people trying to hold me back. A lot of yeah. stalkers. A lot of bad people. And but through it why, all, I don't even know, but. But Joe was there like bulldogs, like right away. Like, you're not gonna treat Tiffany like this, and like a big brother. So I try to be and put all Tiffany, like I've said in the past, 
um, your moments of clarity is like a fresh, a breath of fresh air. I love uh, that compliment. Thank you for saying that. I sincerely that. mean that. And um, never. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Going to, I think some people want me to, but I won't. Yeah, you can only come when we stand together as one, right? That's right. Let's um introduce Robert really quick, and uh, well, never really quick, but and then we take a commercial break. I hope my sound is working again. It's bad, yes, and stop talking like C3PO though, you don't need to. <laughs> You don't need to, or I'll start doing Yoda, talking like. Oh, no, 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 we're not going to do that. I haven't had anything you to drink. You do not need to. <laughs> but. but we're good. We're good, right? Awesome, yes. awesome. Thank you again for having me. It's really kind of exciting because um, I'm not like <laughs> the rest of the panel. <laughs> I'm very different. Yes, you well, no, everybody's unique in their own way. That's why I... Yes, yes. yes. I mean, it, it's been, it's been an, a huge... Um, and I, I mean, I, you've been my friend since the day we met, period. Um, I do mm -hmm. love my little adventures, which we have to soon, but I am super, super grateful to your show because number one, it's also been an advocacy for myself, um, especially being an entertainer and being you know, things that I don't really address until it's way too late. Um, but mm -hmm. in, in, in concerns of my own mental health, had it not been for me already talking to you, I might not have felt um as comfortable going to um you know to get my mental health together you know um i think it's been something that since i started going to therapy and seeing a psychiatrist um it's been something that i'm very open about and it's almost like conversation that the show isn't why you have it is to be able to have people that are able to address their mental health and it not be a stigma and it not be awkward or uncomfortable, and especially for the younger generation too, because we did go through the pandemic and people started talking to themselves and mm -hmm. it was only because that was the only person that would listen. <laughs> I don't know if everyone was talking to themselves, but uh, you might've been. No, <laughs> but I, I mean, I did, I know I did, but I have two dogs. Some so of the, our dogs were kind of like, don't you have somewhere to go? Like, no, but no, I, that no, was, they, those they are the best much, kind of compliments. Like you need to leave the house. That, yeah, those are the best kind of compliments that I've received is that when I get messages from other people from my past, my friends, things like that, that say, I listened to your show today and I never even thought about taking my daughter to see a therapist because she had obsessive compulsive things and now she's flourishing or I had anxiety and I didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. And now, or they'll text me, reach out see somebody about their panic attacks and we're not be able to fly a plane or go to the dentist or get through agoraphobia or that's me. That's me. You know, I wasn't going to say that, therapist, but you know, um, one of the things my um, therapist did say to me, she, she said, you're not going to have everything solved, but you're going to be able to manage it better. And that's one of the things that, I mean, for me, like it was fine. Um, having panic attacks every other day to the point where I didn't leave my house and you know I'm a social person um, but and now it's like something more manageable for me, hi mm -hmm. um, it is it's something especially now that I'm taking medication and you know we've talked about this before and I was like I'm not doing that I refuse to do that I think I can handle it but I couldn't and it's because of people like you that are in my life that allowed me the freedom to to make choices that have helped my life. And I mean, I'm flying in two weeks and it's not even something I care about anymore. I mean, I'm still gonna have to pop some pills of champagne, but um, it's just something that I am grateful for. The sound to, is still breaking um, up though. You're still gonna have a glass of champagne. You're welcome happening. to have that. That's not the problem. <laughs> I know, nobody needs to shut you up, but it's so weird because this never happened with your sound. It's time for our break, you guys. and. Hopefully we get that fixed, but we'll be back with Moments of Clarity and Tiffany and our eighth year anniversary show coming up in just a moment. Please stay tuned. You're listening to Moments of Clarity with Tiffany Werner. We welcome your input at 866-826-1340. 
Tiffany will be right back after this. This is the Tan Talk Radio Network. Hello, my name is Lucy Lopes, and I'm a real estate agent that supports ending the stigma on mental health with moments of clarity with Tiffany. I am also passionate about helping you buy or sell your home. With times being so difficult, I'm here to help. Contact me at lucylopes.com. That's L-U-C-Y-L-O-P-E-S dot com. Let me assist you through this pandemic and know that you are not alone. Hi, this is Tiffany Warner, your host of Moments of Clarity. Living with a mental health disorder is not easy. If you or someone you know are struggling with this, please know it's so important to seek treatment and I'm here to help. Please visit the website at momentsofclaritywithtiffany.com to view blog posts and resources on this site to help educate and inspire you to take action because there's no shame in seeking help for mental health. While you're there, please take a few seconds to sign up for my email list. You'll get some extremely valuable educational and entertaining content that can be sent right to your inbox each week. Plus, you'll also get instant and free access to my guide on managing your anxiety. You can also follow me on Twitter at MOCWithTiffany and at Facebook at Tiffany Warner. And once again, the website is moments of clarity with Tiffany.com. Thank you so much for your support and for listening to your show because change can only come when we stand together as one. Are you looking for a great book? If you like to root for the underdog, Joe Potosi's book is a book for you, a real American odyssey that will grab your attention with its fast moving narrative. You won't be able to put this masterpiece down. When the dust settled by Joe Potosi, go to Amazon, Barnes and Noble or Zulin press. This is the Tan Talk Radio Network. We are back to Moments of Clarity with Tiffany Werner. To join in the discussion, call 866-866-1340. Now, here's Tiffany Werner. I'm a licensed mental health counselor, and I'm your host. And it's kind of hard to get everyone on the screen. <laughs> so juggling. Um, and I made a. So I have a question. Video. Wait. Hold on a second, Ed. Can you hear me? Yes. Ed? Look, can you see this? Well, come on, camera. I made us a little. I have some pictures. That was it. <laughs> but it was spread. I thought it turned out better than whatever. Anyway, who was going to say something? I I had a question for you. You. Yes. Did you imagine being, did you ever be doing this as long as you have? I mean, eight years is no small feat. Did you ever imagine you'd be doing the radio show and now it's all over the world, YouTube, LinkedIn, et cetera. Did you ever picture Kind yourself? of an overachiever, huh? <laughs> um, well, at first I didn't know that they were going to let me do it this long, and then I got some training. Because <laughs> there's probably clips, but they're a little out of order, but there's some from back in the day when I first started and – I had no radio training. People would say, how did you learn? Did you go to school to become a radio host? And I'm like, YouTube. <laughs> Jeff Bell helped me a lot. <laughs> Things like that. Um, I went to school for mental health psychology, but um, the very first show, I didn't know. I, they wanted me to have it kind of like Frasier, like um, if you've ever seen that TV show, but or one of those doctors where they're on the air and then people call in for free advice or advice or whatever, but nobody knew I was on. And I was also on Wednesday nights competing with American Idol at the time, eight years ago, that was a big deal. So then I started asking people to call in, but then I didn't know to go to break. And if the phone rang and they're like, we have a caller. I'm like, we actually have a caller? <laughs> Instead of, <laughs> we have a caller. <laughs> it's come a long way. Um, and my voice sounds like, I'm fresh out of high school or something. Just it's just funny. Um, no, I didn't know. I was I was heading for just aiming for a year, but to be honest, Joe, I don't. I can't imagine not doing it now. Yeah. But 
I made a pact. If I hit 10 years, I'm going to get a tattoo. And uh, you guys all said you'd do it with me. So I say that. <laughs> Leslie's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what, what kind of, what kind of uh, manipulation I can come up with by then. Yeah. Let's see we how can do, hey, hey, we can do a henna tattoo. It don't have to be permanent. True. I'll wear a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wear yeah, a t-shirt. I'll, I'll right. some 10-year merchandise, yeah. and we'll all wear that. How about that? Well, yeah, so right let's now. do a, a henna tattoo and like a picture. A decorative yeah. pillow, maybe. Something like that. Or we'll, we'll go, I don't know. Or yeah. my real friends will get a tattoo. Oh, <laughs> oh. No, I told you the manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, we'll get some cool merch. Anyway, um, Tiffany, Tiffany we're gonna be popping. Else. We're gonna be popping bottles tonight for your your celebration. Oh, nice. wait, 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 hold on a second. Wait, pop in. What is that? <laughs> wow. This this is Snoop Dogg's. Uh, this is Snoop Dogg's wine. Snoop Dogg called, has a winery. Uh, it's called Nineteen Crimes. And you're gonna commit nineteen crimes after drinking that? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, take a short video for me as you're popping and cheering, and and just like I want to be a part of that without committing nineteen crimes. <laughs> I know what crimes off air we'll talk about. You could commit. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can. I want to try to share my screen. This might not go. I have a. Hold on a second. I have something I want to um, show. This is one of the bloopers that I love. Let's see if I can do this. Not the clone, I hope. I can't. I find it. Um, okay, let's um, try this one. Can you guys see this? Yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Can you guys see this? <laughs> yes. All right. Can you hear it? This is Robert. First of all, this is Robert and I, when we first got COVID, we get a caller on the line and and just watch Robert. Uh, it please. was a fabulous time. I did a little number and... Uh, so the caller on the line is the winner of one of the shows I, ju I judged that Robert put on. Filling my Adele fantasy that week. So, <laughs> you know, I just uh, gave the children. What song did Adele. you choose? Which song? What Adele song? Girl, I don't even remember. <laughs> um, all I remember was I was feeling my Adele fantasy. I think it was rolling in the deep. I, oh, I was about wow. to say that's what it was. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. wow. What is your stage name? Alexis De Haven. Okay, so yeah. here I am just calling you Alexis. <laughs> and how did you choose that? Because I know like everyone has to come up with like a Raquel. Robert goes by Raquel Blue, and everyone has you explained. I know that they, it's it means something. The name just it's, doesn't come like. Yeah, it. My first name is is really. Um, it's it's kind of crazy because <clears throat> I was talking to this guy. We weren't really dating or anything, but um, we were just talking and hanging out and hooking up and all that. Look at Robert's face. <laughs> and um, so <laughs> I had started doing drag and he worse. said, well, you got to have a name. <laughs> and I'm like, well, duh. And so he said, well, how about Alexis? And I was like, okay, that's fine. And uh, so anyway, he uh, he kind of gave me my first name. But um, then um, I took his, took his last name because he dabbled in drag too. And um, so... Uh, that was his last name at that time was Cox. 
so I was like, okay, so my name is Alexis Cox. And so, well, I stopped doing drag. This was Alexis, in 2012. You know we're on I stopped radio, doing girl. drag for a while. <laughs> it's C O X. C O X. Cox Cable. <laughs> yes. Uh, you never know who's going to call it. <laughs> Tiffany, you can never, ever say anything about my only Why does this still make me laugh like it just happened? <laughs> I, don't, I couldn't see this screen. Was it clear? Could you guys see that? Oh my God. <laughs> <Don't listen to laughs> <me. laughs> my face, well, at first when he, she's in out. Just kind of look hooking up or whatever. And Robert, I had to pause it right there. I'm like, all I saw was Robert go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because that in itself, that was one to four years ago. Because <laughs> um, Cosmo is my nonprofit pageant. Um, we will be celebrating eight years in October. So, yay. Raising money for the community. And I'm still broke. Bro. <laughs> Oh my yeah, gosh! So, yeah, you um, do a I, lot of charity um, work, though. Yeah, right now, um, our winner, her name is um, Tiana Iman. So hopefully, one day soon, um, we can have her. Um, um but uh, this year we're raising money for the Kind Mouse. Um, it's an organization in St. Petersburg, and it helps uh, um, feed kids in the after hours. So when they're not at school or on the weekend, so we've been with them for two years, and we've raised a well. Yeah, we raised a little around three thousand dollars for them. So we're hoping to raise that a little bit more. Um, they they're an amazing group. Um, again, you can find them on all social media, the Kind Mouse. And literally, she's she's helping feed kids. Like literally, that's that's it. And it seems like nothing, but it's such an incredible impact, especially here because these, these kids are not going hungry anymore. You know, parents have to work. It's difficult, but you know, you know they can come to the Kind Mouse and get food. And have it, and it just be there. So we love that for them. Mm-hmm. You do a lot of charity work, which I love so much about you that you help so many people out there. Well, right now I am um, the reigning um, Miss Come Out St. Pete. So if you guys are interested, um, you can go on to the Come Out St. Pete dot com website. And our goal as um, the reigning queen for them is, you know, we want to hear people's coming out story, and you know, especially dealing with mental health you know a lot of younger kids are going through a different situation especially the trans situation that we have going on now um but we want to hear people's stories because you know it may not affect you but there's somebody out there that it can affect and you know especially when it comes to mental health living in a situation where you don't feel comfortable inside your own body living in a situation where you have to tell people other things that aren't true um it does wear and tear on your body it does wear and tear on your body and especially someone who's in the lgbtq plus community these are things that we have to talk about as well it's not just having you know breakdowns and everything it's like am i and it's whether gay trans whatever it's it's having those questions and having people that are willing to talk about them so that's me i love it so you go to our website come out and we want to hear people's stories i came out because of this um, this, I came out because I needed room for shoes. That's my story. It's very simple. Now I have a lot of shoes, and they're at least four to five inches. <laughs> I live. And you make a lot of your own clothes too. I, I do. I do. I'm actually working on a costume right now. See, look, 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 look. this is a costume I'm working on. Yay! It's it's fun, and I think you know um, when it does come to mental health, you know how we have the coloring books and stuff. For me, my Therapy is funny costumes and making them sparkly and pretty. And, and it's it's a way that I can zone out and relax and still like function. You know, um, people ask me now, how am I doing? I tell them functioning. You know, it's it's a different way to approach that question. You know, because a lot of people that we go with, I'm fine, I'm okay. No one really says, I actually have a bad day. You know, so that's why I always say I'm functioning because I'm not saying yes or no, but I'm I'm still here. I'm still present. I'm still relevant. And it's just it's just another way that I've approached my mental health. Is instead of saying to someone lying through the tears or lying 
into the teeth that I'm fine. I'm just saying I'm functioning. I'm doing good. No, well, that's all we can be. I see that we have a call. Can you let me run my show? I was trying to find another blooper, but ah! I love how Robert like pays attention to the call, the chat. Uh, that helps. I was just kidding. You can help me out there. Yes, please <laughs> call in. Because I was like, oh, oh. space time. Call in, join the conversation, 866-826-1340, 866-826-1340. It's time for our second break, I think. Ed, um, let's keep it short. Um, and just have the ones we're supposed to, 866-826-1340. We'll be back with Moments of Clarity in just a moment. Stay tuned. We will return to Moments of Clarity with Tiffany Warner after these messages. This is the Tan Talk Radio Network. Hi, this is your host, Tiffany Warner from Moments of Clarity with Tiffany. I want to thank you for all your support on ending the stigma on mental health for over the past seven years and with over 600 episodes, as well as several award nominations and placing as a finalist in three categories on the People's Choice Podcast Award last year. If you're listening to this on audio, please visit and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Moments of Clarity with Tiffany and enjoy viewing previous shows in case you miss any live. If you're interested in advertising and would like to promote your company, it is affordable and an effective way to get your company the attention it deserves. I also welcome potential guests as well, and all information can be found on my website at mocwithtiffany.com. Thank you again for your continued support, as change can only come when we stand together as one. Hi, this is Tiffany Warner, your host of Moments of Clarity. I'd like to give a shout out to musician songwriter Don Lawson, who wrote, produced, and performed all the vocals and instruments on my Moments of Clarity theme song. Don gained his inspiration as a mental health counselor himself. He's always looking for artists to record his songs, and you can hear more of Don's music at ReverbNation.com forward slash Don Lawson. You can also check him out on Twitter at Don Lawson Music. Thank you so much, Don, for your contribution to Moments of Clarity and ending the stigma on mental health. It's awesome. This is the Tan Talk Radio Network. Now back to Moments of Clarity with Tiffany Werner, licensed mental health counselor. To engage in the conversation, call 866 826 1340. Here's Tiffany. Hello, and welcome back to Moments of Clarity with Tiffany. My name is Tiffany Werner. I'm a licensed mental health counselor, and I'm your host. And we're having an eight-year celebration uh, with several friends that have helped and been with me along the way. And eight years is a long time. And I want to say thanks for everybody that's not even on the show, but are listening and have been there along the way. We have a caller. We have caller Susan on the line. Hi, Susan. Welcome to Moments Clarity. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Hi, Susan. Good. How are you? Hi there. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. Can I ask a question? Hi, Susan. Do you want to ask who a question? Hi, everybody. Nice. Getting some feedback here. Go ahead, Susan. Hi. Go ahead. Um, Leslie, if that's okay, I it was, um, just I wanted to say if she what she has um, what are her thoughts? Okay, I'm sorry, it's kind of. Hi, Leslie. Hi, how are you, Susan? Um, it, I'm good, thanks. Good to thanks see everybody you. on there, and you especially, Leslie. Oh. Um, <clears throat> so my qu my question is yes let me see if I do that so um yeah I just clicked off I think I was getting so much feedback yeah. um but anyway I just had a question about it maybe you could um tell us a little bit about how how does food actually affect our mental health that's a great question <laughs> but we're running out of time so, oh. Leslie, um, <laughs> I think maybe um, refer her to your podcast. I absolutely will. My podcast is Keep It Dirty, 
and keep it dirty is grounding with mother earth. And it's really read the labels, stay away from the middle aisles, everybody, when you go into the supermarket and start eating what mother earth provides whole foods. How's that, Susan? Perfect. And I'll tune into your podcast then. Yeah, it's called it a few times and I'll, I'd love for you to answer that question, though, some other time, if, since we don't have time now. I'd love well, to there's hear lots that. Of, um, Susan, there's lots of time. If you go on to the YouTube channel, Moments of Clarity with Tiffany, just type in Leslie Dowling. Or, um, and she's been on the show quite a few times where she's spoken in length about all of this. Um, where she okay. Was, yeah. So, and and you, could, you could check me out on East West Functional Training. That's my business. And that is my Instagram okay. Instagram site. So thanks, Susan. That thanks, too. East, uh, West, I will get it back. East West Functional Training. <sighs> See? Training. That's my Training. Handle. Yeah. Okay. Hey, All right. Great. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks for thanks calling you in, guys. And keep it up. Wonderful. Thanks. Congratulations. Any other show, Susan, we'll let you know um, when Leslie's going to be on. But we literally have eight minutes left. So. Thanks and for we're calling. Just doing an okay. eight-year celebration. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank Let you. Go right. On and on and on. <laughs> and Leslie goes, has some a wealth of knowledge. Seriously. Thank you so much for calling in, Susan. And um, you see, people watch my show to get knowledge from you guys. That's awesome. It's less, what we're gonna do. See, He's I am not alone. I'm gonna put He's that up there. West functional training. That's my handle. Gotcha. So I do public speaking and I try to get my knowledge out there. And my goal is to be the messenger in life to really hit people all over the world. And if I can make one difference with one person to improve their health and mental wellness, that is gold to me. So we all say that, up. but wouldn't it be great to like help out? Millions instead of one. <laughs> well, yeah, you want to help millions, but, yeah, but I mean, but we won't. Yeah, but um, but, but really, can you guys, a... doesn't she look like Sandra Bullock? Oh no, <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to tell <laughs> you about she's my cousin. <laughs> In a little way. Oh my god, now I see it. I see it. I see it. Yep, now you see it. You got it. You got it. You got it. It's going to out for a second, but then, then you look and you're like, oh. I can't unsee no, it. I'm as goofy no, as too. <laughs> He's my contemporary. Well, if you give me about an hour and a half, I can look like a two. I know. <laughs> I was just going to say, in about an hour, Robert could look just like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love what I do. I am not kidding. <laughs> it would be more like three hours, probably. Yeah, yeah. It definitely would be. But yeah, I love what I do. You know, I think. Okay, so any um, takeaways? Thank, again, thank you. Do what? Any takeaways from. um? just moments of clarity the eighth year i don't know trying to just do this and i'd like well, to have I, all I of you guys on individually later on so we can anybody that's like i wanted to know more just like how susan did we'll just schedule time for all of you guys to be on individually since you took the time just to have the celebrate good times come on well, i had to make a big deal about it i wasn't going to and then i was in the studio and uh, I was like, hey, January 15th is my eighth year. And and for me to not make a stink about it, it was stupid. So anyway, any I takeaways? Let's see. Always think I do it every year. I think that's really awesome. You know, there's been times where I've wanted to stop. But then it, it, it honestly was painful to really consider stopping. Like, you know, maybe this is my last year, maybe this is my last year, but then I didn't want to, if that makes sense. <laughs> it wasn't time yet. I don't well, know, I know when are... time. What? No, I was saying, I know that there are hundreds of, hundreds of, hundreds of people the people that have benefited from the show, including my, myself, including myself, for for forever, will be grateful for you, because again, I don't I don't know where I would have been if I hadn't reached 
reached out and you know said, "Hey, I think I have to go, go see somebody." So let's get this together. And I appreciate your friendship for just being understanding and for mm-hmm. help, helping me find that direction. So yeah, so that's, that's what I take from you, and I look forward to eight more years or however many more years because it's it's great. I couldn't see agree. I couldn't agree with Robert. I benefited immensely from listening to you. Uh, there was a time you had two different shows, and um, I did. Then, of course, I Kirk got Patrick Miller was going to be here today. He's really sick, and Kirk, if you're watching, I hope you feel better. And uh, you know, for all the people that you do hear from, like the feedback, the calls, people that call in. Just imagine all the people that don't don't reach out or don't give you feedback. You you're never gonna know the exact extent uh, of what you've accomplished, but I know the world's a better place because of all your efforts and your wisdom and your knowledge, all your wonderful guests you've had on. You've shed light on a lot of different topics that before kind of taboo to talk about. As I mentioned earlier when I was talking and um, one of the big ones for me is suicide and it's okay to get help it's okay to talk it's okay to open up because at the end of the day each one of our values is unmeasurable and we have a purpose and a plan in this thing we call life and nothing is so bad that we have to our own life I had an uncle right. that did that. Yeah. But um, so thank you again. And I I just hope and pray that you will continue and that you have will, the will. Really as... Yeah. You know, eight years ago, though, when I was, like I said, they wanted me to have callers call in and I was trying to find guests because it was like crickets and I had to just talk for an hour. And, um, Without experience and without being on so you don't want to talk for an hour, like unless you have something that you just want to talk about for an hour. Like I can LB never talk. Can talk about I can never talk for an hour. <laughs> I can never talk. For I can. That's- it depends on what topic. But I mean, eight years ago, I couldn't. But anyway, so, um, and I would try to find client or client guests for the show, and they're like, "I'm too shy. I don't want to put my business out there. I don't want people knowing that I was either raped." or suffering with mental health stuff or going through a divorce or finding self-esteem or self-confidence. They didn't want to say any of that. So it was really hard for me to find guests. And as years went on and time went on, celebrities started coming on and authors and musicians and a plethora of different people, drag queens, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, and I made a lot of great friends out of that. And I appreciate that so much. Ed finally started to come around and like me. Took a minute. <laughs> I have him muted so he can't come Ed. back with anything. Love Ed. <laughs> yeah, it, Ed's a sweetheart, but he definitely, it's like an onion you have to peel back a little bit to get to. And I think after eight years, I did. Right, Ed? Right, Ed? You're not muted anymore. I am here. After eight years, we're friends, right? Of course. Yay. Yay. I love the hesitation. But anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, of course. I'm sorry. I was just loading the computer. That's all. Yeah, we got two minutes left. So I'm just going to wrap up the show. You guys stay with me on here for after. Don't hang up. Thank you so much, Larry LP, Robert Rigsby, Leslie Dowling, Joe Potosi, for being here. Kirk Patrick Miller couldn't be. And for everyone that's watching, supporting the show, and I've supported for years and believe in ending the stigma on mental health, I appreciate you. And especially my family and Ed, of course, and Tantalk Radio and so many others. Um, and I, oh, I forgot to show you all the trophies. Maybe next time, but won s- several awards, six People's Choice Podcast Awards, top ten in three categories, nominations and 
trophies are pretty cool looking and not now, but be kind to yourself and to a stranger. You never know what they're going through. Thank you all so much. Happy anniversary. Eight years. Everyone tattoos in two years. Now it clicks. Moments of clarity. Now I hear. Moments of clarity. Now I get it. Moments of clarity. To yourself, be. Don't put yourself down, time for a change Believe in yourself, time to rearrange Be your best friend, bring hope to your day Lose your critic, get out of your way Now it clicks, moments of clarity Now I hear, moments of clarity now I get it, moments of clarity To yourself be kind, it will please your mind Find your joy, trust in you Put in the time, you'll see how you grow Many kinds of love, you get to define Find self-love, you're so alive Now it clicks, moments of clarity. Now I hear, moments of clarity. Now I get it, moments of clarity.